Hi, I'm Aileen and welcome to my kitchen. And today I am making my own sloppy joe hamburger meat sauce. And in my skillet here I have one tablespoon of oil heating up. And while that's heating, I'll show you my ingredients. Okay, I have a half a cup of onion, chopped. I have a half a cup of jalapenos and banana peppers mixed. I've got about a fourth of a cup of each in there, chopped up. I have a half a cup of ketchup, fourth of a teaspoon of salt, fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. I have two tablespoons of brown sugar, one tablespoon of mustard, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and I have a pound of hamburger meat that has been cooked and drained. Okay, now this can be a sweet or spicy uh, sloppy joe mix. If you want it sweet, just put bell pepper instead of jalapenos and banana peppers. And that, that would be that. Okay, I'm gonna put my onions and my pepper and my oil. And I will cook this down for about two minutes or so until they're lot, slightly translucent. And I have those on medium heat. I'm going to put them on medium low when I finish cooking. I don't want them to burn. And the thing about this is, if you, there's something in it you don't like, you can change it, I guess. I mean, if you don't like jalapenos or banana peppers, and you can use uh, bell peppers. If you don't like bell peppers, use whatever you like. Like she always says, your kitchen, your rules. That's it, right there. Okay. These are smelling really good. And I know they've been cooking for a little while now. Too bad they ain't smell a vision Man, it smells delicious, y'all, just with the onions and peppers. And I'm going to go ahead and start adding these other ingredients. You have the ketchup. And if this ain't enough ketchup for you, go ahead and add a whole cup full. I mean, that's up to you. I don't like mine super saucy, I guess is the, the word. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add the mustard. One way you can cut down on using so much is to go two weeks without any condiments. No mayonnaise, no ketchup, no mustard, no salt, no pepper, none of that. And after about two weeks, take and spread you just a really super thin layer across like a sandwich or whatever. You'll be surprised at how well your taste buds pick up on the flavor of that condiment. That's it. Okay, I'm going to stir all this right here together, and I'm going to let it cook for about three to five minutes on this low setting. Medium low, I should say. Just let it kind of marry all those flavors together, and then I'll add the meat. So what I'll do is I'll go on the slight break while they're, there's cooking down and then I'll be back when I get ready to add the meat. It'll be just a few minutes. Okay. I'm going to add the hamburger meat. Well, look at that. Look at me, y'all. I'm just dropping everything. She decided to feed the hutch and the, and, and the cook time. I just decided to feed everybody but myself today. I'm going to stir this right here all together. And once I get it stirred together very well, I'm going to let it sit and simmer for about three to five minutes. Again, so that those flavors can marry in with that meat. And y'all, if y'all could just smell this, it smells so good. I'm going to let that right there sit. Like I said, and simmer for just a few minutes. Come back when we get ready to put it on some bread and 
try spot. Okay, y'all, this is ready to come up. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. And I'm going to put a little bit on my plate here. On my bread. You'll see I'm using loaf bread. Y'all, I was raised on loaf bread to for hamburger buns, hot dog buns, sandwich bread, whatever. I rarely ever buy hamburger buns or hot dog buns. That right there is a sandwich, a burger, a burger <laughs> bun, a hot dog bun, yeah, sloppy joe bun. So, you know, that, that's what I use is loaf bread for everything, and that's what we're going to have with this. And the, the meat there. There we go. That's the half the guinea pigs right there. If y'all wondering about the size, well, that's just going to be our supper. Be okay. our snack now and be some supper later. And I'm going to let Papa Guinea Pig do an upscope. Yep. Because it's, it's taste time, y'all. Say, say, it, say it like it's supposed to be. Papa Guinea Pig, get your head out your butt and do your job. <laughs> okay, we're going to take a taste test of this, see how it tastes. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good stuff, y'all. Mm. Well, that's my sloppy joe. And I hope y'all like the recipe. If you do, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, well, you know, give me a thumbs down. I want to thank y'all very much for watching my video. Appreciate the new subscribers coming in too. Yes, we do. We thank y'all all for watching. Everybody have a great day. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Where's my phone?